Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the power, Azure PowerShell command that is set Azure AD device. Okay, so this is basically a very good PowerShell command that can help you, you know, to update your Azure Active Directory devices. Okay, if you want to, you know, update any, uh, you know, value of any property value of your uh, device uh, from your Azure Active Directory, that time you can use the set Azure AD device PowerShell command. Okay, so uh, let's. Uh, do some demo and we'll there we'll see the syntax of this particular command okay so let's start with that okay what we'll do is let me open the powershell isc okay uh, as administrative mode okay so this here it is okay so we will uh, run this command set as your ad device okay before that what we will do is we will run the get as your ad device for this command i have uh, made a separate video that you can also uh, check out that videos to get some idea okay that uh, video link i will uh, put in the video description okay you can check out that the reason i'm uh, executing this command first so that we will uh, you know retrieve the list of uh, devices that is exist in my azure active directory and from that we will try to you know update the value of any specific azure ad device okay from that list okay let me execute that okay so before executing this command uh, you have to you know call the connect azure ad you must call uh, that command first. Let me copy this command. Okay. Remember that you have to, uh, you know, execute this connect as you're ready along with your tenant ID. This is your, this is, I mean, your tenant ID you can put it here and uh, run this particular command. Okay. So let me run this. Okay. So I will enter the credentials. Let me enter the password. So you can able to see I got the expected output. Okay, here I have only a one device in my Azure Active Directory. So I got that particular uh, device that named as TS Info device. So the reason I uh, executed this command to get this list of devices. Okay. Now we will go back to our uh, main command uh, like the set one set as your ready device. Okay. So we will try to, you know, update one value of for the existing Azure device as your ready device. Okay. So the uh, syntax is you have to use this command along with the object ID parameter. Okay, specify the object ID. The object ID you can copy from here. Okay, you can able to see this is the object ID for this particular device. This is a unique number. For each device it will be different one. Okay. So what we are telling is uh, update this uh, update this particular device whose the object ID is this one. Now what we are going to do update is we will change the display name. Okay, this is the display name. Display name you can put a new one. Okay, so now it is TS info device. You can able to see here TS info device. What I'll do is I'll make it TS info new device. Okay, let me do this. Okay. So let's execute this. I'll run this. Okay, you can able to see the command uh, like we are able to execute it successfully, and it's also updated the you know display name. 
because if in case any issues means it would have thrown error here okay so to cross check what we will do is we will run the read on this get azure ad device command right okay let me run this enter the credentials So I'll enter the password now. You can able to see uh, we got the expected output and the display name has been changed successfully, right? So it was the TS info device earlier. Now you can able to see it is updated to TS info new device, right? So if you have changed this display name, you can uh, change the other parameters also say this device os type and device os version etc okay instead of display name you use this uh, the other parameters here and specify that particular value okay and uh, this object id will difference that particular device which one you are going to update okay so this is what for today i thought to show you quickly you know how to use this set azure ready device powershell command which is a very helpful command sometimes you might get the requirement to you know execute this particular command okay thanks for watching this video if you really like this video kindly help us to you know subscribing this channel and you will get lots of free videos on azure articles as well as azure powershell uh, commands Okay, thanks again. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.